Okay, it's Patriotic Rottweiler. Uh, continuing on with the maintenance of the Ford Model 1910 tractor. Today, I checked the air pressure in all the tires. The fronts, I did about 28, and the rears, I did about 16. Uh, those, these are probably the original tires, so I definitely don't want to put too much. Uh, but on those rears, I am carrying a heavy load with the bush hog. So after that, I did the greasing of all the grease fittings. There are some up under the tractor, right where the brake pedals and the clutch pedals are. There are three back there, and there is one at the very front where it pivots on the front axle, even though this is not four-wheel drive. Uh, there's some, of course, at the on each side of the front wheels, and there's a couple on the back where the three-point hitch is. So after that, I went ahead and drained the hydraulic fluid. It holds almost seven gallons, so it's quite a bit. And the filter I've already replaced is right there with the wicks. And there's the number, 51208 for that. There are three drain locations. Actually, here, let me show you this. There is the book, the manual calls for removing removing this uh, plug right here to drain the fluid out of the filter. Before I did anything, I, I attempted to loosen that up and let that drain, but nothing really came out. It really didn't do anything until I started opening up the bottom ports. So, um, of course, once I did get the old filter off, there was still some fluid in there, and a little bit went, went down. Uh, the side of the tractor, but it wasn't that bad. But of course by that time I'd already drained probably five gallons out So let me get a shot of where the drain plugs are up under the tractor Okay, so I'm up under the tractor on the left side and the very first one is right here then there is another one right there and then working your way back where your draw bar normally sits is one up under here so i'm not sure if you can see it it is it is up under there so you have to remove your draw bar if you have one to get that all three of these up under here are 19 millimeter um Here's some of those grease fittings where the brake pedals, there's one there, there's one in the middle, and then there's one on this outside edge here too. And let me show you the, I don't know if you can see it with the sun, but there's a grease fitting up there at the where it pivots. So I've got it all drained. I replaced the filter and I'm gonna go get some, I was originally just gonna check the fluid to see how it looked. It looked a little milky, so I went ahead and decided to go ahead and replace it. And uh, like I said, I'm going to start from scratch since I, I was not the last one to, to do the maintenance on this tractor. So I'm going to go get some more fluid and install that. And let me show you where that goes in case you don't know. Right next to your gear shift is this uh, right here. And that's a dipstick on this tractor. So you just unscrew that. And that's your fill port, and your dipstick is right there. So that's where all the almost seven gallons ends up going. I plan on putting some in, and then putting five or six gallons in, and then run the tractor, and then come back and check it, and then add the rest that I need to do. Uh, in case you don't know, this right here, this knob allows for you to increase or decrease the speed that the three-point hitch goes down um, so you can adjust the you can adjust that clockwise counterclockwise um, well that's about it for what I've done so far today uh, hopefully my fuel filter will come in and I can replace that this afternoon or tomorrow morning all right if you have any comments Post them in the uh, comments below, or if you uh, have any questions, put that in there as well. And make sure you check out some of my other videos. All right, thanks.